Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on NBA Youngboy responding back to John Gotti the third's sister, right? We all know what happened with Floyd Mayweather and John Gotti the third when the that big incident broke out when Floyd whooped his ass. Um, the sister came out and said that she go get money, yah yah. Um, whether it's a year from now, two years from now, she dog NBA Youngboy out, and NBA Youngboy clapped back at the sister. But he also had some things to say about Floyd Mayweather and Money Yaya as well. So I want y'all to listen to what NBA Youngboy had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. I'm I'm sitting there uh, recording, you know, I make my own news. But I, I'm, really, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to speak on the shit as it came across this page. We, we, you know, we got it, we, we got it, daughter. Man. I'm gonna tell you like this. I hope you do that bitch the worst away two, three years from now. I don't give a fuck. It ain't my business. I hate that hoe. And when it come to her daddy, that nigga don't need to be in my mentions. I don't fuck with him. Your brother lost the fight. Every man gotta lose. Every dog had a day, man. That's how they go. Hey, I idolize your daddy. Man, next time you ever disrespect me, y'all gonna have to bomb me. Have a blessed day, beautiful. Now, this ain't the first time the NBA came out, you know, and talked down on Floyd Mayweather. So, you know, their relationship, don't, I don't think is, is that, you know, that good, you know. Now, we all know Floyd probably don't like the way um, NBA probably was handling his daughter. Who knows what the situation is, but we do know they have a son together, right? And um, we always seeing Floyd with his grandson, running him around, teaching him how to box and things of that nature, right? So Floyd is heavy active in his grandson's life by the looks of it, right, you know, Cameron can say a, a lot of things, but behind the scenes can be different, but, you know, it shows that Floyd is, is active in his grandson's life, the little, little man, you know, look like he loved being around his grandfather, but, you know, the situation with, with you know, with Floyd and young boy could probably come in between that, you know what I mean, uh, money ya ya them, you know, um, keeping his son away from him, or who knows what the situation can be, right, for us speculating on the outside looking in, and all we can do is speculate, you did. We don't know the true uh, scenario behind everything that's going on. Now, we know Floyd had to get money out of some trouble when she ended up, you know, stabbing a girl over NBA young boy and shit like that. And we all know how that went. NBA was on her, waking her up, you know, calling Floyd another bitch, saying her bitch has dad ain't pay for this house. This ain't her daddy don't do this. I bought her this. I bought her that. You know, NBA got paper too. Not Floyd Mayweather paper, but he got paper. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, the situation with John Gotti, um, the third, you know, Floyd whooped his, whooped his ass. Um, the family didn't like it. We all know they was talking shit inside the ring. And that led to a brawl in, inside the arena, right? It led to a big-time brawl happening in Miami. You understand? The sister, as y'all seen the post, you know, she's standing up for her brother. But the, 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 the derogatory shit that she was saying, calling people um, circus animals in, you know, mainly she wanted to use the word, the 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 N word with the E R on her, right? She wanted to use the N word with the strong E R, and she wanted to call them monkeys. You understand what I'm saying? So that just shows you how racist they ass is on that side, because John Gotti, the, the the daddy didn't come out and retract the statement, the the brother didn't come out and try to retract the statement, she didn't even come out and try to re retract the statement, and she ain't getting no blame or no, you know, ain't nothing happening to him. So. People still look at the Gotti's like they, they, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, they, they part of that, their life. They mobsters. Man, listen, shit done change nowadays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Floyd got money just as long as theirs. You dig? So if they think they're going to come out and, and do something to money, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, think it ain't going to be no retaliation, they got another thing coming. For us, the NBA young boy telling her to do money, y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, dirty, that's his personal feelings towards his baby mama and, and, you know, what they doing to him. You feel me? Like I say, I can only look out, look at, on the outside looking in, what to make a man react that kind of way? And it only got to be about your kids, your children. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's probably going on, something that's going on where they're not letting um, NBA young boy see his son or, you know, money y'all y'all talking shit to him because her daddy got this mm -hmm. amount of money and he got this amount of pool. And you know what I'm saying? You know how that shit go. We got a rich ass daddy. Then you got a boyfriend who got paper that's from the streets like NBA. He don't take no shit from nobody. So, Floyd might be trying to get him some game and this, that, and third. And, you know, he ain't listening to that shit. And then Floyd trying to keep her away from him through all the ups and downs they've been through and shit like that. So, 
You know how that shit go, man, when a father um, love his daughter, right? And then she dealing with a, a, a real thug street nigga like NBA young boy. So, you know, that's going to always be a conflict of interest. You understand what I'm saying? Go always be a conflict of interest. But I felt like with him saying what he's saying to her after what she said about you, and you tell her to have a blessed day, beautiful, I ain't really like that too much. You understand? I ain't really like that too much. She didn't call you a, a circus animal, and she said you a, a monkey with 12 baby mamas and shit like that. Like, she dogging you, bro. She dogging you, which I understand, you know, you got to have tough skin and things of that nature. But when you're on some racist shit like that, bro, you got to clap back a little hard at her ass as well. You understand? I understand the situation with you, Floyd, and y'all, y'all, and y'all got y'all differences and shit like that. And maybe you do want to see somebody whip money y'all, y'all ass. Maybe you do feel like she put you through the ringer or she put you through bullshit and now she listen to her daddy and the daddy got her doing this and got her doing that. You know what I'm saying? When y'all supposed to have an understanding because y'all, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and shit like that, supposed to keep the parents out of our situation. So, you know, y'all, y'all rich motherfuckers with money living y'all life, you know? But when you got a racist motherfucker like her coming out saying what she's saying, bro, I expect any of young boy to come a little harder at her and her family. You feel me? You say you idolize her daddy. I think you idolize the granddaddy. I don't think you idolize John Gotti the, the junior. You feel me? I don't think you know junior like that. I think you think that's John Gotti senior, right? The daddy who died in jail. You feel me? Or maybe you do know the daddy. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Maybe the daddy is known. Floyd know him. So maybe you do know him. Maybe you do idolize Junior. Who knows? But at the end of the day, when she says some shit like that and they don't come out and retract it or try to clean it up, you know what I'm saying? Even though we know that's their true feelings, right? Once you say some shit like that, circus animals and, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Come on. We know what she was trying to do. We know exactly what she was trying to do. But this just shows you when people think they just privileged, they can say anything and get away with it. You feel me? Like... Nah, you just can't say anything and get away with it because you think your family is just hitmans and murderers and, you know what I'm saying, they done built their reputation up doing this and doing that. And this day and age of 2023, shit, everybody hitmans and murderers. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody is hitmans and murderers. That's why I say when she's talking about, oh, she going to get money out of y'all two years from now, three years from now. Like, woman, you got kids yourself. You got kids. So you think you can put your hands on somebody else's children and think your children can't be touched? Baby, they killed the president. You understand what I'm saying? They knocked off the president. The mob ain't what it used to be. You feel me? I'm quite sure the mob is out there still. And, and it ain't what it used to be. You feel me? So at the end of the day now, everybody got an address. Everybody go do this. Everybody go do that. People got people that's crashing out every day. Every day. So if you was to touch somebody that was very important or, or, or got power as well, oh, yeah, you can be touched as well. You can be touched as well. Straight like that, man. But the situation with NBA, um, Floyd Money, y'all, y'all, I hope they can clear that shit up, um, you know, for the kid well-being because it ain't never healthy for a mom and a father to be going through this and that. Even though it don't matter how much money you got, that child need his father. That child is going to need his father. That's, that's NBA young boy son and NBA young boy, you know, he going to mow the son the way he want to mow the son regardless of Floyd Rich as fuck all he want to be, you know what I'm saying? NBA young boy, he, he's a good father, dude. Some, they can't say that about the boy. The boy take care of his kids. That's what I see in him, you know what I'm saying? And he bought one in his son's life, and they holding that shit back from him. You know what I'm saying? Or who knows? It could be some other shit. You feel me? Him and Floyd probably just don't like each other. They just don't see eye to eye because the money y'all probably telling him one thing and then telling him another thing. Or who just knows the situation, bro, when, it, when it's some shit like this? All I know is them goddies came out and said what they said. Young boy should have fired her ass up. If you're going to fire your baby mama up, fire her ass up as well for calling you a motherfucking circus animal with 12 baby mamas. You did? So we'll see if Floyd come out and speak on this. He haven't spoken on what the woman said yet, but we'll see if he come out and, and you know, respond to NBA young boy since he didn't respond to the daughter talking about what she going to do to his daughter. You understand? So we'll just leave it at that, man. But shouts out to Floyd. Keep grinding. Keep shining. Keep doing your thing. Um, take care of your grandson like you've been doing. Take care of your daughter like that's a great thing. Shouts out to NBA young boy, man. You keep shining, keep grinding. Get up off the house of rest box and continue to make your bread. But if somebody go speak out on you and your family, bro, you supposed to turn their ass up. Period. Family business is family business. If somebody come out and speak on your family, you're supposed to turn their ass up. That's just how I feel about the situation. But y'all have a good one out there, and we on to the next one.